In this video, I'm going to talk about pretest questions. Okay, let's get started here. So, just to start off, for those that uh, that may have not had much experience with pretest questions before, pretest questions are used to check the knowledge of your learners before they actually begin the formal portion of an online course. And based on the points that they score in a pretest, you can direct them to uh, a certain section of the training or have them uh, skip the modules entirely and go straight on to the final quiz. This way, of course, you can maximize the use of your learner's time by going through only the content that is relevant to them. So let's take a look at how you can set up a, a pretest a set of pretest questions for uh, an online course. I've got my Canada Quiz course here and I've added three pretest questions to this particular online course. So uh, the first one is, and it deals with Canadian uh, politics and geography, uh, how many provinces and territories are part of Canada? And I've selected uh, A, 10 provinces and three territories as the correct answer. And I've got a couple of distractors here. I also have what is unique about the border between Canada and the US. It is the world's largest land border. And of course, a couple of distractors as well. And third, who was elected Prime Minister of Canada in 2015? The answer is Justin Trudeau. And I put a few of his family members in there as distractors. Now, with a pretest question, uh, most of the work, uh, other than creating the question itself, most of the setup work is done on the quiz properties panel, much like you would for your final quiz or for knowledge checks or, or, or even survey questions. And I've gone ahead and I've selected four answers for each question. I've shuffled the answers so that we get a, a bit of a random order here. Now you do assign points, even though it is a pretest quiz and it does not contribute to the final score that users will get, you do have to assign points because the points are what will determine what the action will be upon completion of the pretests. Uh, you can, of course, do penalties just, uh, just like you would with regular quiz questions. The default situation with pretest questions is that there are no captions uh, other than incomplete. So there's no correct caption. And of course, further down the page, there are no failure messages uh, or retry messages. You also don't have any uh, additional navigation controls, but like all quiz question slides, you can add what it is that you think you might need, a clear button, a back button, a skip button. And of course, you could add a correct caption and uh, retry message or failure messages. The one thing that a pretest question has that other question types don't have is this button called edit pretest action. Now, it doesn't matter which of the, in my case, three questions in my pretest assessment. Um, that I, I launched this from, if I edit the pretest action, it's going to be the same regardless of which slide I'm on or which question slide I'm on. So I'm going to press that now and show you what the default options are for your pretest. So that's going to bring up an advanced actions window. And the action name is CP pretest action. Uh, and then it basically checks this. It checks the this variable that you see here. CP quiz info pretest score percentage. Bit of a mouthful, but this is a system variable that captures the score achieved for any of the pretest questions that the user has visited. So in this case here, the default is any score greater than 50, and this is percent, uh, perform the following actions or, or else, if you will, perform these actions. So you can sort of have a branch created at this point here. So for example, if I wanted to say, allow my users to skip all of the content of this particular course and jump right to the final quiz, 
I could do that quite easily. So let's let's set that up so you can see an example of, of how you could use this. So if CP quiz info pretest score percentage, and I'm going to say for my learners, I want them to get 100% on the pretest to allow them to skip the content. So I'm going to say is equal to, and we'll change this to the literal value of 100. In other words, if they get 100%, we're going to perform this action here. Now this action here, I want them to jump down to, well, let me actually just update this action. I've already set up a special slide that would be a summary slide. This would be a good slide to take them to. So now that you know all about Canada, you are ready to complete the final quiz. Click next when you are ready to proceed. So of course, my users could have learned all about Canada from the course, or they've demonstrated it through the pretest. So let's go back up to one of those pretest questions and edit that pretest action again. So if the user, so if they score CP quiz info pretest score percentage is equal to 100%, we're going to jump to slide seven, because that's where that summary slide is. Else, go to next slide. In other words, take the rest of the course. So let me update this action. Script update is successful. We'll hit close and let's test this out. So I'm going to hit preview project. We'll see the whole project. So we're learning about Canada. Let's hit next. How many provinces and territories are part of Canada? So I'm going to purposely fail this to show you that it's going to force me through the content of the course. Um, so there are nine provinces and four ter territories. That's incorrect. What is unique about the border between Canada and the U.S.? There are guard towers every, t every 20 feet. And uh, there'll be a third one here. Who was elected Prime Minister of Canada in 2015? Uh, we'll say Pierre Trudeau. That is an incorrect answer. So now I'm forced to now view the content of this course because I obviously got all of the pretest questions wrong. Clearly, I need to learn a few things about Canada. So let's exit from this now and see what happens when I preview this entire project, but this time we'll get every pretest question correct. And you'll see the results. So let's begin. How many provinces and territories are part of Canada? There are actually 10 provinces and three territories at the time of this recording. What is unique about the border between Canada and the US? It is the world's longest land border. We'll hit submit. Who was elected Prime Minister of Canada in 2015? That would be Justin Trudeau. Hit submit. So it says, summary, we've jumped now down to the summary of the course. Now that you know all about Canada, you're ready to complete the final quiz. Click next when you're ready to proceed. So at this point, I would hit next, and now I would get a different set of questions and I will be scored on these. So let's complete these correctly, of course. Which of the following are official languages of Canada? In this case, English and French. Which city is the capital of Canada? It's Ottawa. Who is the current head of state of Canada? This is a bit of a trick question. It is, in fact, Queen Elizabeth II. So now I see that I scored 30 out of a maximum of 30. So on the quiz results slide, nothing I did on the pretest is affecting the score here. I was only scored for those last three questions at the final portion of the course. The pretest simply allowed me to skip the content 
and jump straight to the final quiz. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was helpful or useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.